Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to another Q&A in ATS. Left off here in the middle of the job in the previous episode and suddenly it started raining. Well, I guess at the very least it should be a nice ambiance inside the cab. So let's go and continue trucking. This might actually be a shorter, much shorter episode than I intended because I didn't balance it right but we'll see we'll see how it goes okay um let me show you the map the way so we started off here we started off in south lake tao in the previous episode um over on this side i think in 7-eleven looped away our way around carson city through here entered 108 westbound and we are now over on this side in sonora so now it's more of a, I guess, city driving trip to Sacramento, delivering this finally in Walmart. And yeah, we took the long way route, but it's a more scenic route. Hope you enjoyed that previous video. Actually recording it that, that, that same day, right after the previous one. All right, let's go here. Alright, so where we left off the previous session, um, let me see, where was that? That's a good question. We had a question from Ranveer Hunjan, um, and he asked, how did you get into this simulation games and is playing these your full-time job? And I answered that a bit already, um, maybe I just repeat it and expound a bit more. So how I got into sim games, we covered that in the previous Q&A, two episodes ago now. So you can go back to that, how I got started in truck sim. But for the full time thing, I think I shared that as well last episode. And uh, I shared that a couple of times before, but yeah, this is something that I would like in the future. Like I mentioned, I, I don't really have like a long-term vision, but I do have like an, a general direction on things. And uh, for me, I would really like it if I could focus on going, becoming a, or, uh, a full-time content creator because I think I can do so much more. Especially with all these sims coming in, I am very limited in what I can do because I have a full-time job so I usually only have at most a couple of hours every day to record as if I'm lucky if it gets busy I even have to forego that totally what is this? one way? oh this is the ramp okay I'm going to the highway and yeah as much as I enjoy both of my jobs so to speak my full-time job as an IT consultant and here as my job as a content creator they achieve different things for me like being a content creator appeals more to my quote-unquote creative side good luck with that <laughs> but yeah i tend to be a bit more free in what i come up with and i tend to be able to imagine things better do things better from an artistic point of view Oh my goodness, it's, now it's getting really laggy, huh? Sorry about this, guys, but yeah, the rain is not being nice. But yeah, still, don't need really high, we don't really need high FPS in trucking. Just stop looking around so much. And now I think it's balancing out a bit more. I think the rain is letting up. <clears throat> but yeah, they, they appeal to the different sides of me. The YouTubing, the content creation, feels more to my creative side, and I have a bit more artistic freedom. And my full-time job taps more into my logical side of things, where I get to work on equations, you know, solve puzzles, so to speak. And uh, they give, they both give me enjoyment, but I think in total I enjoy more now. 
the content creation aspect because it just appeals more to my my likes you know as much as I enjoy my full-time job sometimes it can get a bit frustrating depending on the work so it's not really my passion like I like it but it's not my passion unlike this one where I can go full nerd and uh, still earn from it whoa okay a bit of a bug there might have to be remedied in the next Sierra Nevada version <clears throat> but yeah um, I, I, I know I have different answers here in this kind of question depending on the time when you ask it and I remember before I, w I answered that I want to keep it this way like both of them but yeah I think I would with this kind of setup it's great but I need to sacrifice the content creation aspect of it like I, I can't go all out whenever I get an idea I have to squeeze it in the time that I have extra, the extra time that I have and sometimes there is no extra time depending on the workload so it gets a bit frustrating at times and I remember and this is a good tip for you guys if you are thinking of doing a change or you're thinking of something and you're not sure if it's the right thing to do dry run it you know test run it you know it's uh, you won't really know until you've tried so try it out do a bit of a test run a simulation that's why we get into this sims right simulate it for yourself and see if you like it for me how i did that is i took a couple of days leave and i so i stopped my full-time work for a couple of days but i continued creating videos streaming and it was just a refreshing experience like i could do this the entire day and didn't have like a deadline for that oh i need to work now you know things like that and i can just use my imagination more and all the things that i've been thinking of i can execute them and i even have time to think more on things have a nice trip there you go and it's just such a refreshing experience when I tried that out and that's when I realized wow I think I can do so much more if I got so much more time but yeah the main roadblock is the sustainability this is why I started the patron because I think relying on YouTube ads alone will not really be a sustainable business model because yeah at the end of the day even if you say yes i enjoy making videos i enjoy playing recording and doing all these videos and streaming at the end of the day it should be a business it is a business and we should treat it like one so it has to be sustainable the business model has to be sound and with only the ads i will be very far away from making it a sustainable lifestyle I will not be able to survive on it alone so I have to step it up in terms of number of viewers number of so that the ads would increase that the, the money I get from ads for example that will happen when we have more members in the community and I am speeding here slow down a bit but at the same time need to focus on other things like the streaming aspect maybe on twitch we get that when we have more subscribers because subscribers and twitch pay me directly and the uh, patron especially patrons so thanks a lot huge thanks to my patrons for supporting me and believing in what i do your support really means a lot and it's uh, it's the step forward for me to make this a full-time thing so really looking forward to this journey with you guys and uh, yeah that's that's what i would hope because when i tried it i realized i could do so much more and i could actually make this into a living in terms of sustainability in, in terms of what i like to do i would like to do this full time this is my passion project 
And if I can make this, if I can survive with doing this the entire day, full time, then I would be a happy bunny. But yeah, I have to make it sustainable. And th that's like really one of my tips for you guys. Hey, if you like some of your content creators, doesn't have to be me, but I'm sure you're fans of someone, Squirrel or someone else. Or some of the youtubers out there if you want to support especially the smaller guys then your support means a lot you might think oh that's only a dollar that's only five dollars how would that help well you're one person how many more if they if they all think like you then that can become sustainable for the person and yeah that's really putting power directly to your wallet that's such an amazing concept being able to support the people we want to support and it's a win-win because they can keep doing what they're doing you can keep enjoying what you're already enjoying and it's just such an amazing environment to be in that kind of scenario so yeah I uh, hopefully we get that traction as we go through it we reached 25,000 subscribers recently so really thankful for that and uh, hopefully we get to a lot more and hopefully I can make this into my full-time work in the future that's the goal <clears throat> but doesn't mean we strive for that goal without end and uh, in the process ignore what we have in front of us i am very thankful for where we are right now with this 50 50 setup and with you guys in the community so thank you for being here and your support means a lot watching the ads supporting me directly either on twitch or on patreon for those who donate and even those who do not give any monetary thing your support your attendance your comments everything every little bit helps and uh, if you feel like it's too small a contribution don't don't feel like that because everything helps yeah it doesn't have to be monetary your encouragement your constructive criticisms your feedback you know these things all add up and i'm really thankful for them so thank you for the amazing community that we've built here and i hope you stay here and enjoy the journey all right all right so next question also from ranvir honjan hope i'm pronouncing that right <laughs> um let's go through here how tall are you um I think I'm 5 foot 10 inches, 5 foot 10.5 inches, somewhere around that. So not quite a 6 footer, but almost there, maybe an inch or so before. So not too tall, but okay-ish. Um, in my culture, it's quite tall already. Uh, Filipinos in general aren't the tallest race but yeah it's okay just to satisfy that curiosity <laughs> i'm not sure how much more i can expound on that so let's leave it there maybe let's leave that as a cooling down question oh this is such a nice view very nice um Next question, what kind of skills, talents would you like to develop and why? How do you do how do you see these skills helping you in the future? Um, and I could tie this down to the YouTube career because a lot of people, especially the older ones, the ones from a different generation, they look down on these kinds of jobs. And understandably so, because I mean you think about it. Oh my goodness, I think I'll have to make that a teaser because I am 
approaching my destination. So I'll leave a teaser and then we'll continue it next time, okay? But yeah, the the older generations especially look down on this job because it's like playing games for a living. Like how can that be reputable or honorable or what can, what are you contributing to society even? But I mean, it is entertainment and it is depending on how you approach it it can be life changing right it can be inspiring so um yeah don't don't uh, underestimate it and yes i've learned so much throughout the years that i've been doing this because it's kind of an all around thing you do everything it's a business at the end of it and it's just it's just not just playing games that's a huge part of it yes but it is a bis business it is a what do you call it single propri proprietorship business oh, I don't know how you call it but yeah it, 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 it starts out like that and it can scale up through time oh my goodness that looks so good doesn't it so definitely something i would want to develop more and i will share more details on the next q a episode i think we will have many of these because uh, the questions are piling up and i wouldn't want you waiting too long so i think we'll have a couple of these hope you guys are enjoying them i'll try to space them out and uh, this is also uh, distracting me from the fs 2020 hype a bit Otherwise, I would keep on watching videos and feeling full mode because I don't have it yet. So let's, for those of you who are in the same boat as me, let's distract each other and make these videos so you can watch them. And uh, yeah, let's focus on something else till we wait, while we wait. Right, but yes, thank you for the questions. I'll answer that in more detail next time, don't worry. And hopefully the next time is not so far away. But yes, uh, I, I, I think I told this story already before but starting YouTube I didn't expect it to be this comprehensive and normally the first impression you get is like what he does like YouTube for a living like what does he do just play games or even the other youtubers like what what does she do just put on makeup what do they do just talk it's never just that there's so many things happening behind the scenes so much effort being put in each and every video and uh, yeah it's something that I would like to expound on because I think it would help with the appreciation and not like looking at these people as like lowly kinds of beings you know it's a very um, painstakingly effortful and I would say fruitful job to have in something that contributes to society in a very positive way if done correctly because this is this gives us like a, a voice to speak to the community and it's just a very different experience all throughout but yes i think that's enough of a teaser for now we focus on parking this thing oh my goodness and yes of course i am here on the edge slot number nine goodness that means i would have to blah inside reverse this and i think that might be a bit of a disaster here first we have to face the other side it actually hit my own trailer here even it out can open the windows now and hear the engines better. As always, details on which mods I have are in the video description. I think that's something that YouTube has to improve, the video description part, because I still get lots of comments asking for what truck is that? What graphics mod are you using? Or what, uh, you know, these like things that are all in the video description and I don't blame them because I noticed when you watch a video in YouTube 
the video description is hidden in the beginning you have to like show more or in mobile use that drop down and not everyone would do that and so some people have easier access to the comments some people might not even know that the video description exists because of the way it's presented so maybe that's something that youtube can work on so don't worry i don't blame you if you don't see it but just a tip for everyone look at the video description let's see how badly i'm doing i think i'm very far away you know what actually it's not that bad okay cool a bit sharper here though and yeah this mirror is absolutely not helping me anymore and the wide one is also not very insightful is it yeah okay i think i just turn as sharp as i could look again i try to stop whenever i look outside just to mimic like the driver going down and checking instead of moving going to third person while moving they hit something Let's straighten it out a bit make it a bit easier for ourselves That should help up a bit with the visual. Oh my goodness, that's so bad looking. Okay, let's see. This look promising to a point. Be a bit too much there though. Not so sure about this. Yeah. Straighten it out, maybe. Let's see how that looks. Not quite there, but I think it was. I'll get there eventually. Just push it back all the way I can, as far as I can. And then take it back here on the other side. Might have bulldozed a few of those pallets over. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, this is going to be very bad. Sorry guys, taking longer than anticipated. Yeah, I made it wrong. Next. I'm not sure if I can remedy this, I might have to go forward again fully. Oh, I'm so far away. Let's just force it here. Yeah, blindside reverse is something that I'm still not used to. Oh, look at that. It's going through the pallet there. slower in this case just park slower make things work yeah that doesn't work does it i think we'll leave it here <laughs> just because otherwise you guys would wait for me I think we can do it. Alright. We can do this together. We'll hang tight. Work hard on it. Do it properly this time. Yeah, these mirrors don't really help that much. They're very good for 
getting that proper depth like the field of view is very realistic but it doesn't help with parking that much because the field of view is very narrow and the other one below is too wide so in both cases I think they are pretty sucky how is that? yes, that looks good looking good yes, keep it, keep it there What now? Ah, yeah, that looks much better. It's going even without. I think that should work. Yeah, just basing on here. Will not get it too very far. Oh, that looks perfect. I think. It's going to straighten it out a bit through here. Oh, that's yes, that's that will work. I think they work for me. There you go. Phew. Good thing I didn't quit. Awesome, that's perfect parking. Finally got lucky. You try enough times, you get lucky eventually. There you go. Sorry for the delay, but we got there in the end. Couple of smashed pallets, but. finish this I know I'm late how late though one hour that's a huge penalty we did level up though level 61 nice all right let's call that of an episode and catch you guys in the next Q&A where we focus on those different skills and talents you develop in YouTube thanks for watching have a nice day Jumpstruck me everybody Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.